Hey friend, welcome to my mini series on how to edit a vlog, where I take you from beginning to end on the process of how I create weekly content and how you can too. You can watch the previous episode here, which shows you how to set up your folder structure for success. This episode is all about setting up your Premiere project file and also the specific settings that I use for my layout and just other settings that help optimize everything to be a better experience for you. So I really hope you enjoy and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so here we are inside of Premiere. We got this start dialog box. We're gonna hit new project. And uh, here's our new project window. A lot of this is pretty straightforward. What you wanna do is browse for where you're gonna save your file. So we're gonna go over to where Bob's vlog is and we're gonna create a new folder called edits. And inside the edits folder is where I keep all of the Premiere files that I need. My auto saves, the actual editing file itself. So all the project files are gonna go inside this folder called edits. So I'm gonna drag that over into our browse box so I can select it. And let's label this Bob's vlog. We're gonna click over here to scratch disks. It should be set to same as project. That's the best place to keep it. Just keep the files alongside the project. Uh, these are like your auto saves and your previews and things of that nature. So let's make the project. Okay, so here we are inside of our empty Premiere project file. It's kind of it's kind of exciting. Like anything can happen at this point. The world's our oyster or something like that. So we're gonna head over to where our footage is stored. So in Premiere, when you drag and drop a folder into your project panel, it will import the folder structure up to one folder deep. And so if I select the episode one, Sprinter getting stuck, and I drag that over to the project panel where it says import media to start, and if I just drop it there, Premiere will actually start to import all those files. So that's how I do it every time. I just drag the folder over and it saves my folder structure of which camera's which. It's pretty simple. What I like to do is go preferences, Go down here to auto save. And I like to be really safe. Uh, so I change it to automatically save every five minutes. And I set the maximum project versions to 99999. I cannot tell you <laughs> how many times a Premiere's just crashed and I've just done a bunch of stuff and I haven't saved in a while. And it's been really handy to be able to go back to those auto saves. Okay, so where those auto saves will be is if you go over to your edits folder that we created, uh, they'll be right in there. Adobe Premiere Pro autosave, and it'll just save it in sequential numbers. So you'll know your most recent one is the highest number. So coming back over here in Premiere, this is actually the default layout of what's called your panels. So all these little panels are where different special stuff happens. Uh, and I like to rearrange these. I don't really like the default layout and I never use it, but I reset it for you guys. Uh, so you don't get scared when you see I have a crazy setup. So what I actually like to do is I move all of these panels and I make them a nice column on the left side of my screen. So I'm gonna drag that and I'm gonna hold it to the far left edge to make it do that. And it kind of freaks out a little bit, but I'm gonna continue to do that with all of these panels that were down here until I get a nice organized window. Boom. And I also like to take my audio bar and make it a nice bar across the bottom. So those are the main simple changes I do to sort of the layout. And you can kind of tab through these up here and you can kind of see where they all are. Okay, so let's go over to our product panel here and let's create our first sequence. This is pretty exciting stuff, guys. Uh, so if we go into our Sprinter Getting Stuck folder. We Hey friend, I hope you found that really valuable and you learned a thing or two. A way you can help out my videos is you can actually just spread the word about Left Coast. You could open up a message right now to a friend that you know wants to learn more about editing videos and you could send them to this exact video or you could send them to leftcoast.co slash edit a vlog so they can learn the same great things that you are learning. I would also love it if you join the collective. It's a great space to be. It's an email newsletter that I send out every week. I send out all my videos early to the collective. So if you wanna be on the inside scoop, if you want adventure filmmaking tips, and if you want direct access to my inbox to ask me any question, the best place to do that is the Left Coast Collective. I read every email that I get and I love hearing from you. So that's it for this time. Remember, life's better when you make stuff.